the house. What? I've been asked. I've been directed not to ask questions. Uh, no, everything's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about fine. a thing. Everything and will be just. Fine. Don't worry <laughs> about a thing. It's just going to be perfectly. Pay no fine. attention to the people don't, behind the. the don't smoke. worry. <laughs> I always love okay. this in the summertime. Put on your glasses. Okay. I always love this in the summertime because it seems like more and more people, ordinary people, not just science people, are using. Yeah, those look great. <laughs> are using uh, liquid nitrogen. So uh, the nice people at General Air fill up my door every once okay. in a while. And so I got some today. 320 degrees below zero. Oh. Most of the air that we breathe is nitrogen, about 79%. Okay. So not oxygen, but nitrogen. It's not happy right now. It's actually boiling. So I'll put some over here so you can see it. You have to actually put it in a special container that won't crack. Yeah. So that's why that Pyrex is being used. You know, I was at a chef used. event the other day, and some of the chefs were using this in some, like, with whipped cream. They were making, like, this, this whipped cream with... Absolutely. It's, it's called cool. molecular gastronomy. Oh. Right? Kind of crazy. All right, so here's what happens at science camps all over the country. Kids are getting introduced to uh, to liquid nitrogen as a tool to be able to see how things can get uh, changed when they get cold. Okay. Which hand do you use the least? <laughs> okay, hold out this one. This will be perfect. Don't worry about that. All so right. now watch this. So I'm going to take the rubber band and we just stretch the rubber band like this okay. and then put it down in the liquid nitrogen. <gasps> That's all it takes. Look at this. Oh. <gasps> now and it's stay right there. Okay. It's it's completely frozen, but watch as you start to blow on it just a little tiny bit. Watch what happens. It comes back to life. Oh, so oh, 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 there it is. There it is. There it is. Nice. So believe it or not, this could withstand oh, cool. going into space, and so that's really important. You need materials that are stretchy like that that can be able to do okay. that, but not, now without breaking. Yeah, back to so what if we did the same thing here? <laughs> Here's our balloon. So now I have my breath inside. Okay. Got it? Okay. So now oh, if gosh, I push, no, you're fine. <laughs> Bam! No, I'm teasing you. Look at this. So if you think it's going to pop, it's just the opposite. So here's what happens when those molecules get colder. Look at what happens. They get closer together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah, if you've okay. ever had like, a, I don't know, a basketball, something like that, that was left outside in the wintertime, and then all of a sudden it's not as, uh, as bouncy, and then in the spring it's back. Look at my breath. It's right there. Can you see that? Yeah, Look at yeah, this. Yeah. My breath oh, is whoa, now whoa. a Oh liquid, gosh. you see that? Kind of gross, but it is. It's a liquid. <laughs> now look. It's turning back into a solid. Uh, they see it snow inside there. Oh, that's that's really the solid. Cool. That's really cool. And now it's back into a gas, just like we started wow. before. So if you were a uh, clown, you could just blow up the balloon animals I mean, first, <laughs> put them all in there, and then just dump them out for the kids, and okay. that wouldn't be very good. Uh, you can't touch this 320 degrees below zero, nope. but watch. I'm going to put it in a styrofoam, styrofoam cup. cup and now it's yours to hang on to. Okay. <gasps> no gloves. Isn't that no amazing? Gloves? Yeah. So if it's you take a look cold, at though. it, it's cold, but I mean, not. Yeah, it's not going to. Not right. going to. You burn can me. hold on to that for a long, long time. That is a great, great insulator, which is a, a fantastic way to look at it as well. That's kind of fun. All right. Can I show you the last thing? You know, you yes. were talking about cooking. Yep. I brought you some cereal. This is fun. So here's our cereal like this. Oh. And so if I want the uh, cereal to now stay uh, nice and fresh for the longest time, I would just soak it in liquid nitrogen. Some, like, fruity pebbles up in here. Hold out your hand. Okay. I'm going to put them in your hand. Okay. okay. So you're okay. going to get some. I'm going to get some. Are we eating? And now you pop them in your mouth. Ready? Here we go. Ready, set, go. Ready, go. That's perfect. That's the greatest way to finish the segment. I know. You have to eat them. That's what I'm saying. You have to chomp them. I'm not supposed to talk my mouth. You have to talk with your mouth full on this. Hey, I put up oh, some no. more experiments. <laughs> I know you're not doing anything with liquid nitrogen, but I put up some more stuff at 9news.com and follow me over on the Facebook page. It's the weirdest <laughs> sensation. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you're the best. You're the best. And glad that nothing was exploding. That's right. Okay, eat okay. them. Say All goodbye. Right. So, okay, we're going to be saying goodbye. We're going to eat more of these frozen fruity pebbles. Okay, we'll be good. right back. Ready to go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm really cold.